beat Sage. No, no, we did not. We did not beat Sage for Sage. We're apparently on stage 12. Oh, okay. We're on stage 12. Okay, I got a little confused there. Anyways, we're heading straight into deep trouble now. How exciting. Hint, back tack to find the special gem. Interesting. Alright, so another underwater stage. I quite enjoyed the last one. And it looks like we got our nice submarine buddy right here. Okay, I was afraid the TNT was going to blow up and destroy us. Watch out for nitro crates. We could theoretically be able to safely destroy those. No. I lost my assistant. No, watch out for the pepper fish. Okay, that's that's very funny. That's a very funny sight to behold. <laughs> you get stung by a puffer fish, you blow the light of puffer fish. How oh, funny. There we go. Alright, these puffer fish need to get out of my way. Uh, crash is time to shine. Alright, looks like we cannot use the vehicle inside of this device. Okay. I was expecting more eels. There's the eels. Whoa! That was graphic. Oh, why do I keep dying for dumb reasons? I gotta stop doing that. Alright. Goodbye, shark. Nitro crate decimated. Okay, get this pepper fish out of the way. Alright. Go up. Alright, crash. You need to swim faster than this. How else am I supposed to escape? Oh, no, 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 no. My memory served me incorrect right there. There we go. Oh, checkpoint. What do we have? Okay, apparently avoid the air, the fans. But in my head, I think those would be harmless. Don't understand why I have to avoid them at all. No. Why do you do this to me, game? Can't even sit. Oh, they're vortexes. That doesn't make any sense. Not at all. That makes no sense in that context. Alright, just gonna avoid the purple this time. There we go. I did not. Ugh. Okay, I'm having. Immense trouble focusing today. Alright, grab the shield and avoid. There we go. There we go. I finally did it. Finally avoided that. Perfect. Avoid this and then avoid this. Maybe it's just the way this level's designed. It's taking me, it's putting me off a bit. Where is our checkpoint that I rightfully deserve? Why did you have to go down, Pufferfish? Is there any other way you could have gone? There we go. Good for you. Just go. I'm convinced the Vortex won't hurt me. I lost all my lives for no reason. In a relatively easy stage. And as a matter of fact, most of Crash 3 is pretty easy. I have not gotten to a moment where I'm struggling and raging a lot. Maybe it's because they got the finally got the formula down after a long time of trial and error. Crash 2 was a good balance between difficulty and the curve was not too steep. 
But in this stage, this stage is a completely different story. Destroy that nitro crate. Alright. No! Why do you do this to me, game? I am 100% convinced the game hates me. Yeah, it hates me a lot. Okay, I can try this again, right? This time I'm going to absolutely focus on nothing but the game. I gotta avoid the sharks. I gotta avoid the vortex. Wait, why wasn't I thinking before? I could just follow the truth of the public fish because they didn't have that. Using my room. It doesn't make any sense that they'll be through the vortex at all. It can make a video game is supposed to be unrealistic. But that's just beyond reasoning and logic right there. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense in trash logic either. I don't know why I keep getting tricked by it, even though I've literally seen it five times already. That stage took longer than it should have. Loading the time booster. Alright, now we are heading away from deep trouble. And we are going to high time. As Coco, of course. We need to give Coco some time to shine. little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. A special gem lies at the end of the death row. Looting high time. Oh, it's a tower stage. I love tower stages. Those were mysteriously absent in Crash... Crash... What is it called? Crash 2. Cortex strikes back, but now they are back and ready for revenge. Yes, I love climbing up and up and up and up. Gives me a full sense of progression, you know? And then falling all the way back down if you make a mistake. But also because the platforming of the tower stages tend to be easier too. That's another thing I like about it. Give me all this one for free. I need it. My lives are really low right now. Boom. Okay. You're the monkey. I need to. Oops, didn't even see you there. No, actually, I did. Now I need to climb all the way back up. See, this is the fun part. That's the fun part of the tower. Boom, boom, boom. At least I can get tons of one for food from here again. Yes. I can always see this video being this to be mostly just me dying over and over again. Yeah, it's shaping enough to be that way. I mean, it's only been a day since I played Crash. And yeah, I lose all my skill. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recording and take a quick break. Alright, we're back. I took a nice rest. So hopefully, I can actually survive for more than 5 seconds. I just don't get what's going on today. Something's just bothering me constantly. Alright, then we got you. Delicious, delicious carpet. Boom. Nice. 
There we go. Boom. Alright, Coco, let's just go ahead and jump. Alright, monkey. You're gonna get wrecked. There we go. See, it was not really that hard. No. It really was not. Oh, I didn't even know you could kill the scorpions. That makes this part even easier. Most of the enemies I just assume you can't kill because I'm conditioned to think that way with Crash 1. Because most of the enemies were invincible and impervious to most attacks. There's the crystal we're looking for. Good, 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 good. We most likely aren't getting the death platform. But this bonus stage will activate no matter what's going on. Alright, it's Wumpa Heaven, isn't it? Boom. That's the easy part right there. Just bouncing on all these crates. There we go. Then I need to do a slam of doom. Boom. Alright, I need to... No, I didn't need to do that. That was the complete opposite of what I was trying to do, game. Once you know how to read my inputs, I did not put in those inputs. Alright, let's try this again. Getting this bonus stage is just one for having. Boom. 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 There we go. That's what I was trying to do, game. I dare you misinterpret it. Three times. Okay, and... That's all the crates of the bonus stage smashed. Plus one bonus life. This should really help with our life situation right here. It is very minimal. And that's terrible. Okay. Okay, this is just some basic platforming. And that should be easy. I don't trust myself to even make that jump. Alright. Back to the bottle throwing. Yeah, quick throwing Molotovs. Boom. Alright, back to the tower climbing. Oh, apparently the death platform is active. I guess technically I didn't die this attempt. After that game over I got that I cut out, technically had not died. Alright, the death platforms tend to be big challenges. Interesting. But they also have harboring great rewards. And I'm wondering if they will harbor a gem. I'm yet to collect one of these special color gems. I've collected a bunch of the crate gems. No. Alright, so how, how am I going to do this? Alright, that was simple enough to understand. And I've already got the crystal, so there's no no need to not follow this platform and get the bonus as well. That's another thing I like about this game compared to Crash 2. If I went for the death platform, I wouldn't be able to get the crystal, but now I can. I can get both. Alright, go now, go now. Boom, and we got a purple gem, plus it leads straight to the end of the stage. It's about high time. Definitely. And we got a purple crystal. Nice. And the death route did not include any crates, which is also something interesting to note. Let's go ahead and play the next stage of Crash if we're able to. Go Crash. Yeah, definitely a Crash based stage. Accelerate just before the green light for a boost. Interesting. 
I'll take a note for that. Nice. Okay, so it looks like we have a lot more enemies this time. And hopefully I can actually get a hold of the handle. And there's oil slicks now. And there's holes. There's actual holes now. That's crazy. Hey. I'm just gonna follow the AIs. They seem to know what they're doing. No. Is there even drifting? You'd think there'd be drifting, but no. It's just pure driving here. Oh, I have no hopes of catching up at this point. I don't even know what kind of shortcuts they can take. They're all cutting the corners. Never mind. Get some of this once again. Alright, these boost panels seem to be my only real advantage. And yeah, I drive off course now. Six right there. Yeah, I'm feeling terribly right here. This race course is definitely way harder than the last one. I wish I could the cars. Can I even get in fifth now? Nice. That was a good maneuver right there. Why are these beasts not giving me any control of my movement? It's quite frankly very annoying. I didn't even notice that pothole either. Come on, game. I know you can do this. Boom. And no crystal. accelerating properly. Wow, you started 7th? That's a bit harsh. Okay. See, all of the- they're starting to cut corners too. That's a problem. Since they started cutting the corners, now it's hard to catch up with them. But before, I just started- I just cut all the corners and it help them. If so crashing into them should slow them down and not speed them up. Wait, how did I do that? I just did the fancy maneuver where I actually drifted. How'd I do that? Is that the R button? There's actually a drift button? This entire time? Oh. Why do you have to do this to me, game? I really even know how to drive. In this, in this kind of format. On oh, the drifting does not even work. It's not even working effectively either. There's even no point of even having it. It's sabotaging me. Go. Everything's so rigid. I don't like it. I don't like these driving controls. They're terrible. Alright, that was a good cutoff. But I only cut off two of them. I still have another three to catch up with. I think I have a small idea here. 
Here, I have a, a minor idea right here. All I really gotta do is just... Oops. Well, now my idea is outside of the corner. See, my idea is if I stop accelerating for one second, then the boost will be activated. So I can make an actual real turn. And if I can make a turn while I'm boosting, or at least after boosting, that should be advantageous. Yo, can I just restart now? No, there's no restart option. Quitting is gonna take longer than just restarting. I guess I need to ride this one through. See if I can actually get it. Drifting is completely automatic. There is no control on when you drift. Just turning really tight will start the drifting animation. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, we're in, at least then we're in fifth. I made that turn slightly better than last time. It was not perfect. Doing that. Why can they knock me back, but I can't knock them back? It doesn't make any sense. I guess that works out. Why even have the boost here if I can only use them for half a second before I spiral out of control? Didn't even notice that hole there. Oh, this stage is too evil. I need to get perfect if I even want to get close to winning. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.